Hello, readers, and welcome to our fantasy reading lesson. So we're going to start off today with a little movie trailer. going to stop right there and I did that on purpose because I'm going to leave you hanging. So I want you to think about um, when you guys are reading that fantasy like oh my gosh I want to keep reading more I want to keep reading more right and remember when you're reading along with those characters suspend your judgment. Don't place those judgments right away on the setting and the characters because you never know what's going to happen and as I'm watching that I'm like oh my goodness I'm like is there evil is something happening like I felt suspense right but we don't want to go ahead and say those things right away because in fantasy like we're learning with the characters and the setting so fantasy readers suspend judgment about characters and places to study them over time so we do this by keep track and analyze the formation of the setting Think about how the motivations and actions of the characters are affected by the setting. I'm going to use the Thief of Always, and I made a little uh, graphic organizer here, a little chart, like just like we did in our previous lesson. I think this is like a really good way to kind of like analyze and track your characters as you're going on through the story. So make sure that you have this chart, whether you're doing it in your notebook or you have a copy of the PowerPoint, but make sure you're keeping track because you're want you're gonna want to check in with your notes and your characters and how they're changing. So I thought about the moment when Harvey is back into the town with Wendell and escape the holiday house, and the motivation was that he wants to go home to his family. They realized it wasn't the place for them. Things started to get weird. And when he went to the house, his parents didn't recognize him. And you could tell right there that Harvey, like, he was kind of, like, loving. Like, you know, wanted to convince his parents, like, Mom, Dad, this is me. I, I could see that side of him that we kind of see with him and Wendell. Also, another example, when the setting was that Harvey is trying to find the holiday house. He went with his parents, right? And they're looking for the house. And... Why are they looking for the house? Well, he doesn't want this to happen to other kids and people. They want justice and revenge. Now, as they're looking for the house, they can't find the house. And I feel like Harvey is determined, even though they can't find it, like he's not giving up. Harvey and Wendell, going to, um, they're going to find the holiday house because they realize that it's not, um, they realize that it's not about having adults like they really want the kids right and they they both of them now want revenge and when they go in the holiday house they want to fight them right they want to they're just so kind of pissed in a sense right they don't want to be there as they're walking up they're creating a plan right so now they're kind of not only like want revenge and they're like angry but now they're determined, they're daring, I might even add brave. They're brave to go back into that house, especially after what happened. So if you notice, I took a look at the setting, paid attention to the characters through their, mo like what's motivating them to do these things? What are their actions? And like, what's a character trait? Like, how would you describe them? And I put it all together. And you guys are going to try the same thing for your fantasy stories.
And then I thought this was the perfect opportunity to not only just have it in a graphic organizer, but start writing about it. Write about your reading. So the setting is the characters are acting because of the character's motivations is this makes me realize I'm noticing I used to think, but now I'm thinking. So those are some prompts that can help you to write long. And don't forget about all the things we're doing in fantasy. We're researching the setting, asking about power, evidence of it. Don't forget, learn alongside the main character and keep track of multiple problems, right? And suspend judgment about characters and places because you never know. Success criteria. So today what I want you guys to do is I want you to keep track and analyze the formation of the setting. And as you're doing that, like pay attention. Think about how the motivations and actions of the characters are affected by the setting and write long about that. So don't forget, you could always go back to the read aloud because all of these examples I took from the read aloud. So if you want to go back and refresh your memory, it's right there for you. And here's my examples. You guys will get a copy of this. And you're going to try this exact same work in your fantasy book clubs. All right, readers, get to work. Have a great day.